It's National Griddle Week with Blackstone, and today's theme is Better Camping. And Blackstone has come out with a lot of really cool camping stuff this year to celebrate their Better Camping. Uh, one of the things that I was most excited about, besides their lighter weight camping griddles that they've come out with, is this fire pit. Uh, it's along the same lines as some of those other brands that do like the smokeless fire pit, but this one is way more affordable because like I've priced some of those other brands, like the most popular brand, it's three to $500 for the smokeless fire pit, about the same size. This one, I think I got for $150 at uh, Walmart. Um, they're a little hard to find right now in Walmart, but you can find them if you pay attention. They're in the camping section. Don't look in the Blackstone section, look in the camping section. But anyway, so uh, I got one of these fire pits. They have two sizes. They have this size and then they have the seven inch size, which is smaller. I got that as well, but we'll do a review on that later. And so uh, I'm gonna do a quick review on this and give you my opinion of it. And so let's start by looking at the unboxing. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot to unbox here. There was almost basically zero assembly with this thing. There's basically three parts to it. Uh, you have this base that separates. And so we can take it apart and show that it just sits on top of that base. So that for storage, which I really like, can sit down inside. Um, just flip it upside down and sit it down inside uh, the fire pit so that way when you store it it's a little more compact and then you have this top ring that goes on right here okay and that's it so there's no real assembly nothing to really put together no screws or anything like that you basically just take it out of the box flip that base over set it on the base put that on top okay the other thing I really like about it and that I appreciate is that it came with this storage bag for it which is nice i think blackstone maybe needs to get in the habit of just including covers and storage bags with a lot of their products because sometimes those storage things are kind of hard to come by or those covers can be a, a bit pricey in and of themselves but anyway i appreciate the fact that they included a uh, storage bag uh to to store it in and to put it away so a few things right off the bat um, I really appreciate the height here because my intention is to use this over here. I have this long deck that has um, that fake plastic wood on top of it. So it's not even real wood deck. And I've always wanted to have one of these smokeless fire pits because supposedly they stay pretty cool underneath. So I can actually put it on top of that deck and not have to worry about it heating my deck up or damaging my deck or anything like that. Um, I also just appreciate, I like sitting around the fire, but I don't like, I'm, I seem to be the person that always gets the smoke in my face, no matter where I sit, it seems to follow me. And so I'm kind of excited to test this out with that smokeless feature. I know it's not going to be truly smokeless, but it's supposed to diminish the smoke enough where you don't have that issue of the smoke just blowing in your face. So let's give it a shot. I'm going to actually uh light it up here this evening and we'll see how it actually goes so to light this thing up i basically just use these uh natural fire starters that you can get from any hardware store or whatever um, and then i got some actual firewood here i'm just going to put a few logs in here so right off the bat i could tell you that it was really easy to light the fire starter of course uh helped a lot but the logs lit right up. I don't know if it's that ventilation that comes up underneath it or what, but it lit up really nicely. You'll also see that the inside of it is pretty shallow. So you can see these basic sized logs don't fit all the way in. They actually hang out a little bit, which isn't a huge problem if, I, if you don't mind that kind of thing. But um, something to consider if you're using regular size logs and you want them down contained inside the fire pit you may have to actually chop down or cut down your firewood to be smaller because it is a pretty shallow pit right and i think that that shallowness is to its benefit because that's part of the reason why it 
really truly does not get hot underneath and i can tell you i put my hand while this thing was lit up i put my hand under it several times and it was always cool underneath i could never feel the heat at all up underneath here so i never had to worry about my deck getting damaged or anything like that but part of the reason is is the base of the fire pit it's pretty shallow it's actually right about here right about where that blackstone symbol is it's where the bottom of the fire pit actually is and so when you put your logs in you only get about this much height right and so if you have too long of a log it's going to stick out about that much so if that's a problem for you or if you just don't like the logs sticking out you may have to cut your logs down I, it didn't bother me to have them sticking out like that they burned down and fell down in there as they burned and so it wasn't a big deal for me okay so something to consider but i think like i said it's to the advantage of the fire pit to have um it be shallow like that because it raises it up just that much more off of the ground and keeps that heat away which makes it safe to use on patios and on decks and on things like that so that it's not going to damage anything so my final thoughts on it it worked i mean i never owned one of those other brands i i know people who have i've been around them i don't see that this functioned any differently than the way those do um aesthetically it's a little different like some of those other brands are more rounded this has got more of this uh octagon shape going on um so you know there's something to consider there if you just don't like the aesthetics of something like that um i kind of like these little accents that they have here these little uh bolts that they've put on that have the blackstone symbols on them you know it's got the blackstone logo it's got uh, the logos going around the feet here I like how high it sits up. I like that I can have it on my deck and not have to worry about it uh, damaging it. Um, and the smokeless feature worked really good. You know, once once the fire got going, and it did take a bit for the fire, you know, a few minutes for the fire to get going, but once the fire got going, it did a really good job of keeping that smoke away, right? It, there was, of course, some smoke, but I never at any point felt like the smoke was blowing on me or in my face or anything. It was pleasant to sit around and it put off a lot of heat. That's another thing to note. I've had a couple fire pits that um, they don't, uh, that they, the heat just doesn't come off of them. You almost have to be over right on top of the fire pit to feel the heat. Um, and this one actually puts off quite a bit of heat. I could feel the warmth of it sitting away from it. So I didn't feel like I had to be right on top of it to feel the warmth. So. Better camping with Blackstone, this is a great option if you're going to go camping and you just don't want to deal with like building a fire in the gr in the dirt or in the ground or something like that. Pack one of these up with you, it, compa it compacts down quite a bit uh, so that you can put it in the storage bag. It's really easy to take with you. Perfect for roasting s'mores or having a campfire. So let me know if you're getting one of these or maybe you're going to get one of the smaller 7 inch ones. Let me know what you think. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and put your uh, thoughts down in the comments. All right, till next time.